Section 20.3 Electronic Spectra of Atoms Subsection D Raka Parameters Raka parameters are empirical quantities obtained from the gas phase atomic spectroscopy of transition metals. Uh, to my knowledge, they are not derived theoretically from first principles. So now let's look at one example. Let's look at the D2 electron configuration. We know there are five atomic terms, uh, 1s, 1g, 1d, 3p, and 3f. Uh, again, there's a trick to write out the atomic term symbols for the S2, P2, D2, F2, G2 electron configurations. Uh, if you're looking at D2 electron configuration, you just write S, P, D, F, G, and then add the superscripts, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1. Uh, what if you have a F2 electron configuration, and then you just write S, P, D, F, G, H, I, and then you add superscripts. So it's going to be just 1S, 3P, 1D, 3F, 1G, 3H, 1I for the F2 electron configuration. I wrote a paper on this uh, and published the paper in the Chemical Educator. So there's a uh, theore theoretical basis uh, on writing those atomic term symbols for D2 or F2 or G2 electron configurations. Now let's look at this A, B, and C the three Raka parameters. So A is simply the average electron-electron repulsion. And you see this A in every single term. B is the repulsion depending on the spatial distribution of individual electron-electron pairs. So you're going to see this is negative AB, this is 7B, negative 3B, 4B, 14B. So we have different number of Bs in this atomic terms. Especially if you compare this two. This two have the same spin multiplicity. And 3F has lower energy than 3P because the quantum number L of 3F is greater than that of 3P. So L equals 3 here. L equals 1 here. All right. So that's why this is the ground term. And empirically, we can determine this Raka parameter B. And we know this 3P has 15B. Okay, 7B minus negative 8B. You get a 15B difference between 3P and 3F. This 3P sits 15B above 3F. Uh, later, I'll show you the B values for different transition metals. Uh, they are here, actually. So you have 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus, 4 plus transition metals. And those are all 3D transition metal elements. The values of Bs, the value of Bs here, and the values of B here. Okay. Oh, and uh, you can tell roughly B is uh, about 1,000 wave numbers. And one wave number is equal to 12 joule per mole. So 1,000 wave numbers uh, is roughly 12 kilojoule per mole. Uh, 15B is a lot. 15 times 12 kilojoule per mole, it's 180 kilojoule per mole. So this 3B lies 180 kilojoule per mole above 3F for most 3D transition metal ions. And again, 180 kilojoule is a big difference. And in the atomic spectrum of a 3D transition metal, you will see a transition from 3F to 3B. Uh, the energy, the transition energy is roughly 180 um, kilojoule per mole, and the wave number is 
uh, 15B. That's actually 15,000 wave numbers. Okay, 15,000 wave numbers. That's a lot. Uh, now let's look at uh, C. C only appears in the terms that have different spin multiplicity than the ground state. All right. And in this case, uh, 3F is the ground term. All right. And then uh, there's no C term in 3P because these two have the same multiplicity. Now we have 1S, 1G, 1D. They have different spin multiplicities than the ground term, and then they have C terms. 2C here, 2C here, and 7C there. All right. So again, if you know the values of the Raka parameters, A, B, and C, for your transition metal, either atom or ion, you will be able to predict uh, semi-quantitatively uh, the relative energies of all those five atomic terms. For the first row transition metal atoms or ions, well, I mean first row, that means uh, 3D uh, transition metals. C is approximately equal to 4B, okay? A big approximation here. And then we can replace 7C with 40, uh, 28B. Uh, this is roughly 8B. Uh, this is also roughly 8B, all right? And then we combine the B terms. Uh, and then this 1S is A plus 42B. 1G is A plus 12B. Uh, 3P is A plus 7B. Oh, I think I made a mistake here. Uh, 4B times 2, that's 8B. 8B minus 3B, I think that's 5B, right? Oh, yeah, it's 5B. That's 1D, 5B. And then if you look at 3P, uh, it's A plus 7B, and then 3F, it's A, mi uh, A minus 8B. So I got confused here. I was looking at this, and I plug in C equals 4B, and I got A plus 5B for 1D. So it's correct here, A plus 5B, A plus 5B for the 1D term, all right? And then, okay, this two, okay, are swapped. So this is 1D, 3P, this is 3P, 1D. Only because uh, for the 3D transition metals, C is equal to 4B. Uh, when C is equal to 6B, well, sometimes you have a larger CB ratio. And then when C is 6B, 2 times 6, that's 12. 12 minus 3, that's 9. It's going to be A plus 9B. And this one is, again, A plus 7B. So in that case, 1D has higher energy than 3P. All right? So it depends on the ratio between C and B. When C is 4B, okay, 1D has lower energy than 3P. When C is 6B, Okay, we reverse the orders of these two terms. And again, those are parameters B's, uh, B parameter in wave numbers. Uh, this means just one wave per centimeter. Over here, that means 1,200 waves per centimeter. Uh, the CB ratio is in the parentheses, roughly four, four, roughly four. So all of them are very close to four, except this. This one is five. 85. So in this case, in vanadium 3 plus case, uh, I think these two terms have very similar energy. Very similar energy. So again, you can plug in 4.8 here, 4.8 here. Uh, 4.8 times 2, that's 9.6. 9.6 minus 3, that's 6.6. .6. So this 1D has A plus 6.6B. .6 energy. 3P, A plus 7B energy. They differ by only 0.4B. And this B is not very big. 0.4B, you get 400 uh, wave numbers, roughly, okay, roughly. 400 wave numbers. And 400 wave numbers uh, correspond to uh, 400 times 12 joule per mole. So that's uh, 4.8 kilojoule per mole. 4.8 kilojoule per mole is a very small energy difference, right? 